When you do this worksheet, you will need a periodic table. First of all, tell whether each substance is ionic, molecular, or metallic. Remember, an ionic compound is made of metals and nonmetals. A molecular compound is made of nonmetals only, and a metallic substance is made of metals only. So, if you have MgSO4, Mg is a metal, sulfur and oxygen are nonmetals, therefore it is ionic. Hc2H3O2. Hydrogen, remember, hydrogen got on the wrong, wrong side of the periodic table. It is actually a nonmetal, but it gets a positive one, which is why it's over here. So, hydrogen is a nonmetal, carbon is a nonmetal, hydrogen again is still a nonmetal, and oxygen is a nonmetal. We have all nonmetals, therefore it is molecular. Calcium is a metal, therefore this is a metal or metallic substance. You go ahead and finish the rest of these. Number eight, tell whether the bonds in each substance are, ion, are ionic, covalent, or metallic. Well, ionic bonds are made of metals and nonmetals. Covalent bonds are in molecular compounds made of nonmetals. And metallic bonds are in metals. So, for example, H2O, there are two hydrogens. So, well, there's hydrogen, so it is a nonmetal, and oxygen is a nonmetal. Therefore, you have covalent bonds in water. Pause the video and try number 9 through 11. Number 12, will the following substances conduct electricity as a solid? Remember, ionic compounds only conduct electricity when they're dissolved or melted. So as a solid, no, ionic compounds will not. Molecular compounds never conduct electricity. Metallic substances always conduct electricity. So figure out, is sodium ionic, molecular, or metallic, then you will know if it conducts electricity as a solid or not. For number 18, will the following substances conduct electricity when dissolved in water? Remember, ionic compounds only conduct when dissolved or melted. So yes, ionic compounds will conduct electricity. Molecules never conduct electricity. And you can't dissolve a, me a pure metal in water, so that's why they didn't ask about those. You figure out number 20 and 21. Number 22. Is KMnO4 a solid, a liquid, or a gas at room temperature? Well, remember, ionic compounds are always solids at room temperature, and metals, except mercury, are always solids at room temperature. Molecules can be solids, liquids, or gases. So let's see which one this is. KMnO4, K is a metal, Mn is a metal, O is a nonmetal. Aha, so this is ionic. Ionic compounds are always solids. Number 23, a substance is a gas at room temperature. Does it have ionic, covalent, or metallic bonds? Remember, ionic compounds and metals are almost always solids. You can have mercury, which is a liquid, for a metal. But a molecule can be a solid, liquid, or a gas. Molecules have covalent bonds. Will the following substances bend or will they break when they are hit with a hammer? Ionic compounds are brittle. They break. Metallic substances are malleable. They bend. Number 26, are the electrons transferred, shared, or free to move about in the following substances? If the electrons are transferred, it's ionic. If they are shared, it's molecular with covalent bonds. And if they're free to move about, it's a metal or metallic substance. So now you can figure out whether each of these uh, transfers, shares, or their electrons are free. 
Uh, by the way, ionic compounds are made of metals and nonmetals, molecules, nonmetals only. And metals, of course, are made of metals.